and the Summer Game Fest begins. There's the man himself. I told you we'd start right on time. Hello, everyone around the world, and welcome. Let me know if the audio Game is not Fest good for you guys. Live, presented by Prime Gaming. I'm Jeff Keeley, and buckle up because we've got a big show for you filled with new game announcements, world premieres, updates on the games you play every day, some surprises, and special guests, including Jeff Goldblum, Giancarlo Esposito, and performances by Weezer, Japanese Breakfast, and the Sonic the Hedgehog Symphony Orchestra. Oh my yes, God. that's really a thing. Now, like a great video game, there may be some twists along the way today, and just wait until you see what we have planned for the end game. That is all I'm allowed to tell you right now. This is just the start of oh a boy. big Summer Game Fest weekend of news and updates for fans, including live-streamed events from publishers like Xbox and Bethesda, Square Enix, Ubisoft, and more. You can head right now to summergamefest.com to track all the events, and believe me, there is a lot of great stuff coming your way. But today, we kick things off with a big 90-minute cross-industry showcase meant to put platforms and rivalries aside. We will have updates and news for you, no matter if you play Avengers on the Nintendo update Switch, confirmed. Oh, Christ. PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. The biggest games in the world will be here, and some of the smallest ones, too, made by emerging voices and developers from around the world who represent what's next. Thank you so much for tuning in and kicking off Video Game Summer. Well, let's begin with a brand new game announcement. You're about to see the world premiere of the next great adventure, from Gearbox and 2K. Oh, well, here's Gearbox. I am so it's you, it's Flareth. That's definitely Borderlands-esque, isn't it? It soars on the wind. It rises from the grave. Stocks the ocean floor. You cannot hide from fate, but you can make your own. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> It's definitely Borderlands. <laughs> oh, Wonderlands. Okay, there it is. There it is. <laughs> is it a standalone game? Oh, fuck, it's a standalone game. Okay, I'm fucking down for that. That's cool as fuck. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is official, and joining us now is Tiny Tina herself, Ashley Birch. Hey, Ash, how you What's doing? What's up, baby? How you doing? Great to have <laughs> you here. Uh, so I think the big question everyone's going to have is, what is Wonderlands? What can you tell us about it? It's a great question. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a high fantasy take on a looter shooter, as you saw. Dude, and, um, fuck if you're yeah. If you Borderlands, you'll probably recognize some fantasy elements inspired by Assault on Dragon Keep. Which what a way to Borderlands start this shit off, baby. Beloved by the devs. And so this kind of inspired Wonderlands. Uh, now, I think the, the elephant in the room is, is this a Borderlands game? Is it not? How does it relate? So it actually isn't. It's its own standalone game. Um, and people that love Borderlands are going to find lots of elements to love about Wonderlands. But it's its own thing. It's hype as hell. This Tiny is Tina's fucking got cool. thing going on now. Um, so it's got its own mechanics or spell casting. You can customize your character this time, which is super exciting. And, you can customize um, yeah, your so character? If you love Borderlands, you're gonna find stuff to what? love in this. And if you've never played a Borderlands game, this is a great place to start. Okay, well, Tiny Tina gets her own game, which is fantastic. Yes. What is her, her role? Why does she get her own game? So she is your bunker master. Um, she is kind of guiding the narrative and changing it on a dime if she wants. Um, and she's just taking your cast of characters, uh, which is an amazing cast, yeah. um, through this wacky world. Uh, and she's Good taking you on shit. an adventure Good to fucking defeat shit. the Dragon Lord. 
And who is that? I don't know. You'll have to play. I, and I wonder who plays the dragon because you've got quite the voice cast, <laughs> including do. you in this, which oh. is awesome. So yeah. feels Thank like Borderlands such a, D &D. a big experience. Essentially. Um, so this was a bit of a tease, announcing it's out there. Um, when will we find out more about this game? Um, hopefully this summer. Yeah. Um, and you can find out a lot more at playwonderlands.com if you'd like. Okay. Um, but yeah, just stay They tuned really did. Us. All right, coming early 2022. So yes. look forward to next year. Ash, thank you so much for joining us in person. Thanks for I having really me. I really appreciate it. And uh, <laughs> we'll see more later this summer on that game. All right, well, uh, what a fucking hype first announcement. Holy shit. Good out. call, Brent. This one you probably are not expecting. A classic 90s franchise is coming back to life uh -oh. as a grid-based tactical strategy title for Steam on PC. This is an insanely fun trailer. I hope you'll enjoy it. A tactical strategy? Brent is a psychic. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> this metal slug! What the fuck? What fucking year is this? There she is! There she is! Fio is here! What the fuck? This is so cool! What the fuck? This like makes perfect sense as a tactics game. This fucking trailer is hype as shit though. Holy shit. I'm down. I'm fucking down. Look, I'm not a tactics guy normally. Like that okay, kind of tactics. I'm fucking down. That was hype as fuck. Surprise guest but it's well past 3 a.m. their time, so don't worry, we chatted earlier, and I'm very excited to share this with you right now. Hello, mystery guest. It's Hello. him, the yes. man himself! Uh, Mr. Kojima, it is so good to see you. Thank you for joining us uh, from Tokyo. Uh, first of all, I just wanna ask, how are you doing? How are you feeling? How are things right now uh, over there in Japan? Tokyo, Genius Kojumbo. Also, hello, Dan. Welcome in. It's the guy from Cyberpunk. <laughs> well, we certainly hope that you're going to get your vaccine soon. Um, let me ask you, as a creator, how has this past year impacted you? Oh, this has been so good so far. Just the first two is just like, oh. Uh, I don't mean to talk over Mr. Kojima-san here, but holy fuck, what a hype first two announcements. Vaccinate the Kojimbo. Death Stranding 2! いろいろ考えました。あの、なんで今回のコロナの中で、え、この先をどう作るかっていうのは色々考えましたね。あの、他のクリエイターも多分
Well, I know we are all very curious about what the next era of Hideo Kojima Entertainment is going to be. Um, I, I don't know how much you can say, but Oof. can you give us any sense of, <laughs> of where your mind's at right now, what you're thinking about some of the themes or the ideas? <laughs> え、こう一歩一歩進むのじゃないんですよね。やっぱりその旧一の時もそうですけど、このコロナでガラリとあらゆるものが変わっていく。ものすごいスピードで変わっていくんで、で、そこでエンターテインメントが遅れを取ってし
Jeff Goldblum was in Black Ops 3 since Thank when? I've never so played Black much. Ops 3. J- Joffrey or J- Geoff or uh, sorry, uh, I think it's Je- I think it's Jeffrey. Hey, maybe it's Jeff. Hi, 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 Jeff. Uh, thank you so much, sincerely, for having me here. I'm thrilled to be here. Hey, I was watching your show, um, and I was wondering uh, <laughs> if there might be some video game world premieres, as you say. Uh, and sure enough, yeah, uh, uh, there, there is. There is. Yes, we do like our world premieres around here. Any chance you uh, brought one with you today? Well, it's funny you should say that. Yes, you could say, uh, yes, I do. Uh, if you don't mind, I've uh, got something here. I'm going to read it on this. There's a little bit of a teleprompter that they're putting up here. So I'm going to read something because I don't want to get it wrong. I wanna, I'm very meticulous about this. So here's a dramatic reading of this game announcement. Ready? I'm going to make the game announcement right now. <clears throat> Hello. I'm here to welcome you to a very different world. It's going to elevate you to new heights. It's going to submerge you to new depths. Maybe even challenge you to control chaos. Actually, I just it's going to certainly bit. challenge you to control chaos. It's a world um, so-called evolved. Take a look at the you guessed it, world premiere. Chaos Control. Is it Ark? I was thinking, it's probably Ark. Is it, isn't it? it Vin Diesel supposed to be doing this shit? Family. all the warnings. Forgot the lessons. We abused our power. We played with genetics like, uh, like it was a toy. Absolutely one of those voices. We weren't careful. And now, ah, uh, here we are. Okay, it's Jurassic Park. You can hear the fucking music in the back. It's this not Ark. is a very different world. Unless it's a Jurassic World Ark DLC. Evolution 2! Oh, this year. Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh boy. So beautiful. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, Sable will be released on September 23rd this year. That's some news for you. Wow. And to learn more about this amazing game, watch the Tribeca Game Showcase. That is tomorrow, where Sable was named an official selection of the Legendary Festival. Now, today is God just damn. the start of Summer Game Fest. Day of the Devs with I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine will immediately follow the live show today. And there are more events coming all weekend and all month including the Xbox and Bethesda Games Showcase on Sunday. It's going to be a good one. Right now, oh, though, we're thrilled Saturday. to Whoops. announce the upcoming Western release of a spectacular 3D massively multiplayer online role-playing game. Welcome to the world of Lost Ark from Smilegate RPG and Amazon Games. Ah, of course. The Lost Ark is now but a myth. A relic from the half-remembered chain war. But now, our world has Big been deer. torn once again. The demons have returned. With roaring destruction, and waking nightmares. Music, my friends. Snatched. Out of hope. 
Big gold dragon. To myths to prove that not all is lost. <laughs> Smilegate's done a date like Smilegate did Epic Seven, so I guess that's as typical as we can get. Sometimes when you play a game, there's that one thing in your inventory which turned out to be far more useful than you first realized. That's kind of like Prime Gaming. If you're an Amazon Prime uh, member, and most of you probably are, of course it's following you get a ton the Amazon of Prime game. every month. This month, you can download Battlefield 4 and Batman the Telltale series completely free for the PC, and from there Skyrim. are special in-game benefits and perks, <laughs> GTA Online, Valorant, Apex Legends, and more. The more I think about that, the sillier it's it is. awesome <laughs> value, and honestly... This kickoff show would not have been possible without the Just, prime wow, I have a cheese wheel. in my vision <laughs> for a new way to bring you the news this summer. So head over to gaming.amazon.com to check out all the perks and free games, which change every month, but you get to keep them forever. You have shown me four free games. <laughs> There's five. Okay, right oh now, boy. I'm honored to be Call of Duty shoot, man. Paris, the new GM of Call of Duty. Johanna, it's so great to no, have Batman you. No, Batman the Telltale series was a... Uh, Everyone uh, is so excited about what Call of Duty has been doing with all there. these seasons. Not older. And I know uh, Came out looks after, like next um, week, June 17th, season four. Yes, we're super excited. We're super know, honored to be here. It's a good so game, thank though. Thank you, first and foremost, to that. It's just such an amazing time for Call of Duty. We're experiencing such transformational first, we'll never growth and dynamism across the entire brand. Shit. You know, from premium title releases to everything we'll talk about today, yeah. with with Warzone, with mobile, with esports. So it's just super incredible all the work. And shout out to everybody in the Call of Duty family who makes it happen every day. Yeah, no, you've been. I mean, I know season three. It was like you know Rambo, Die Hard. <laughs> now, I, who knows what's in store for season four? But you guys, you know, continually <laughs> updating the game now with angry. new stuff. Uh, season four is coming next week. What can you? Uh, this is first info on it, so what can you tell the fans watching around the world? Yeah, we're stoked. It's jam-packed with new content across Cold War and Warzone. You know, you've got new weapons, we've got new maps, no we've got badass new operators. Um, I'm super excited about the hijacked Gulag. We've got expanded zombies content for everybody who loves that part of, you know, the gameplay experience. So we're thrilled and I'm excited to, to bring it forward a little bit here today. I know, we've got uh, the first look world premiere trailer of uh, season four, so uh, let's take a look at that now. Yes, let's take a look at it. Do what you are told, and you get to live. You understand? I knew you were a smart one. Oh, yes, it was a great trailer. This fucking death scare the looking guy. Cold War just turned hot. Power bomb! Sorry. <laughs> just had to make sure you all were awake. <laughs> We've located the satellite. Raptor 1, my team's about to be overrun. Jesus Christ, that was like a fucking remnant monster. Wow. Oh my god, that looks so fun. And one week away. Amazing. One week away. All right, well, uh, let's move on to... Uh, I'm more excited first for Battlefield. joined Activision to run uh, Call of Duty honest. Esports. <laughs> and we're going to talk a little bit now about uh, what is the World Series of uh, Warzone, which is going to start on June the 22nd. Uh, first of all, tell us, what is World Series of Warzone? Yeah, Body we're super excited about it. It's really a the new disrespect. way for us to highlight competitive Call of Duty. You know, we've got great success going with Call of Duty League, and now we've got some of the biggest names in gaming battling it out in Verdansk for what will be the biggest prize pool in Warzone 
um, since it's launched. All right, y'all right? do your so, thing. I'm going to get a sip of um, a drink. We'll talk a little bit about what that entails, but custom lobby experiences, 150 player to a side squad. So I'm stoked to see how they uh, kind of rally here in Verdansk. Yes, uh, and coming up uh, very soon, June 22nd, uh, looks like Looks like Twitch Rivals is going to be a part of this. Yeah, we are honored to be in partnership with Twitch, o always, right? But certainly here with World Series of Warzone and partnering with Twitch Rivals, who's already done so much um, to really put competitive Warzone on display. So couldn't be in better partnership there, and uh, we're excited to have everybody tune in. Yes, uh, there is one thing, though, that everyone has been talking about online, and that's uh, who the captains are going to be uh, for the structure of, uh, <laughs> of the World Series Origin, at least for the first event. Yeah. Who's well, uh, this fucking guy, Captain uh, Swag? A little bit reveal here of, of who some of the captain captains Captain Dan are. Yeah, Dangler! We love the first five captains of the first of many events to come. Uh, like I said, these are huge influencers and personalities in Call of Duty, and they also share our passion for competitive Should have been Call gone of longer. Duty, right? They really believe in the promise of World Series of Warzone and to really level Ridiculous. up what it means to really battle it out. So uh, couldn't be happier with some of these names, many of whom also hail from the Call of Duty League yes. family. Um, and I'm excited to see who kind of takes the cake here. We'll see. I was going to say, they're all be battling out uh, in just a couple weeks on Twitch Rivals. Well, it's really Lab grown gamer uh, men to see how much uh, you know, Call of Duty is growing. <laughs> and a woman who looks like a deep fake, <laughs> but being completely honest <laughs> with you. To take it. I know, <laughs> Not to disrespect uh, her looks, but that picture is very unflattering. Too, right? indeed, indeed, more details to share <laughs> later on, but uh, Sledgehammer Games is, you know, going to bring forward it. something truly incredible. So Wasn't Dan Dangler the woman? All right, she dangles you. There will come a time and a place for that. All right, Johanna, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. All right, we've got lots of Summer Game Fest kickoff to go, but right now we've got a surprise guest joining us, my fellow Canadian, Ryan Reynolds. What? Hey, Ryan. Well, thank you, Jeff. And hello. hello, Summer Game Fest. Now, I, I know what you're thinking, and no, I'm, I'm not here to announce I'm the star of Elden Ring, I think. Instead, no, I'm making, uh, I'm telling you to talk about good old fashioned movies. You remember those things? Of course you don't. Look, um, I have a new movie coming out August 13th called Free Guy, um, and in this movie I play an NPC character uh, in a popular open world video game uh, until I break free and I realize that it kind of sucks to be a you know lonely background character on an endless walk cycle. actually kind of interested in that game. So uh, now movie. here's one of those world premieres. It's a first ever look at our cast on the big screen this August, and honestly, it's been so long, I can't even remember who's even in this movie. I didn't say that. <laughs> I think it got delayed because out. of COVID. Yeah, I'll do it right now. My name is Guy. I thought I had everything I needed. Oh, oh! Mondays, am I right, Joe? You said it, Guy. But then I met her. Put these on. Oh, my God! What are these, trick glasses or something? Guy, there is no easy way to say this. This world, it's a video game. You're not real. Please stop my... And the guy responsible for this world is going to destroy it. Are we talking about God? You've met God? Yes, he's an absolute troll. Trolls exist. We can save God. our world, but we have to fight together. I don't even know what's happening right now, but I love it! Oh, oh that actually hurt my hand. I have three words for you. Blue Ready player shirt, two. Guy. God. This guy is outskilling all these players. Hi, Ninja. Woo! I've never seen anything like this. Who the hell even knows who this blue shirt guy is? He's also really cute. <laughs> the game wasn't even made for someone like this. Hi, Jack. <laughs> nope. Oh! 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 I can't die. I'm never gonna die. <laughs> me playing VR. <laughs> that was fun seeing uh, Ninja, Pokey, Jacksepticeye, Laserbeam, all those guys who will be in uh, Free Guy. Uh, Ryan had to yeah, say Yeah, I've always wanted, right. I, like, uh, when it next, first got announced, I really wanted to see it. At the Game Awards, and Among Us just keeps going. Now it's time to hear from Inner Sloth on what's coming next. More Among Us. Oh no. They're really adding that? Oh fuck, it's an actual game mode? Oh shit! Oh no! A sheriff? They're adding. 
adding mafia rules. Oh, F. Maybe. Fuck yeah! All right, Among Us! Lots of fun ahead. And speaking of Among Us, last year you may remember the very rare Jeff Keighley mask was available as a Twitch drop around the Game Awards, never to be seen again. In fact, I often hear on Twitter from people who get booted from games with the mask because uh, folks think they're hacked. Well, never fear, today the mask is back. Just head to Twitch, connect your account, and watch 15 minutes or more of Kickoff Live to get your very own Jeff Keighley mask once again, and then it goes back into the vault. Back into I don't the know vault. What's going on. You All see right. the amount of players. Of I didn't even think about that. Now, oh, shit. I'm very happy to welcome to Summer Game Fest the head of indies at PlayStation, a legend in his own right who has some exciting things to share, Shuhei Yoshida. Hi, Shu. Thanks, Jeff. His name is Hi, Shu. Hi, everyone. I'm Shuhei Yoshida, head of PlayStation Indies. What I love about working with independent developers are the new and unexpected games that they create which allows us to offer an array of unique experiences for players. In my role as Sony, it's very exciting to get to His meet name with was these down talented below. studios, Did you not see it? Among which Mafia. sometimes can be one person or a small group of friends to help nurture their ideas and bring them to the PlayStation fans. One example is from Finji, who has been working with Greg Lobanov, the developer of Wonder Song, to publish their new game, Chikori, A Colorful Tale. Chikori released today and gives players the chance to experience a coloring book style world where players use their painting powers oh. to explore, oh, solve puzzles, make friends, and draw on anything. First four notes. Check out Chikori, A Colorful Tale on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 after the show. As a huge Soulspawn Games fan, I totally enjoyed the beautiful 2D action adventure Salt and Sanctuary a few years ago. The developer Ska Studios has been hard at work on a new title, which I'm proud to present to you, Salt and Sacrifice. Who's been drawing jicks, dicks? Our sins will catch up with us. Damn, y'all getting bullied here. Always. Ah, that's what it is. I, didn't, I was I given didn't a second chance. I spoke the words. Salton Sanctuary, I, I hear. I drank the mage bane. Now, only to hunt mages. Jesus. I am a marked inquisitor. There aren't many of us. But Dark together, we Hi, Lynn. welcome in the chaos. The chaos. Sounds like a mini Russian RP boy. <laughs> that was like the quietest you, PlayStation, PlayStation I've ever Today heard. We're also able to share with you a brand new trailer from the upcoming Annapurna and Heart Machine game, Solar Ash, which is coming to PlayStation later this year. Trailer after trailer, baby. Yeah, it was huge in this video. Ooh. Hello? Hello? First glance interest peak. Oh, I remember this. I remember they showed a little bit about this. Yeah, this game looks fucking gorgeous. 
Wow, holy shit. Oh, it looks so fluid. Drifter, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that sound cue, though. Ooh. Oh, it's coming out this year? Oh, shit. That looks so, so great. Can't wait to see it later this year. Now, this week, there is a ton of video game news, but there's also a big game launching across console and PC. I know, depth Chivalry issues are 2, fucked. Which brings 64-player <laughs> multiplayer medieval battles to life. Sledgehammers, swords, axes, you name it. And it comes from Torn Banner Studios in my hometown of Toronto, Canada. Here's a look at the launch trailer for Chivalry 2, which you can play right now. Right now? Video weapon! Kill the Arcathia! For every warrior, there comes a time. Jeff banned from E3 because Canada, that's right. Canadians fight. officially banned from E3. Luckily, this is an E3. This is summer game. The Canadians are welcome. As the throng of battle echoes against steel and shield, and we cry out towards eternity. The only reason I liked the chivalry game is because it was it made it made perfect fucking highlight videos. I'll have to hide in the Canadian bunker. For Agatha! Motherfucker said, fuck your dismemberment. Oh, the first chivalry was so goofy. Admittedly, the potential for Chivalry 2 to be just as goofy looks like it's still there. <laughs> this month, Valorant from Riot celebrated its one-year anniversary, and starting next Monday, June 14th, Prime Gaming members will get an exclusive player card to celebrate the one-year anniversary and a Jesus pity Christ, party spray year. through June 25th. This is all leading up to the release of Episode 3 of the game later this month which will be celebrated with an epic WWE Fest unlocked year one stream on June 25th. I thought it was going to say WWE. There will a new agent. Who could it be? Well, here's your first very, very exclusive, but very, very quick tease to whet your ap appetite with more to be revealed later this month. To wet my what, Jeff? Fest. What are you wetting on me? Is Valor any good? It's fine. It's Counter-Strike, but cooler. Told you it was very, very quick. <laughs> All right, uh, warring PMC factions face off against each other in Escape from Tarkov, the popular multiplayer first person shooter video game developed by Battlestate Games. Today, we've got an exclusive new look at the streets of Tarkov, the new area of the game under ah, development. Ah, more Escape from Tarkov. It's CSGO and Overwatch, yeah, basically. So CSGO, but cooler. Yeah, if you're not into the genre, you're not gonna like it. Tarkov, I see Brent was not paying attention. <laughs> Brent is looking. I've been meaning to get into Tarkov. Sounds like so much fun, but also sounds super frustrating. Escape from this aesthetic. Your ass got seen there, like you're done. Tarkov is a basic gun game 
with a cool mechanic, but also it does like everything right. So it's like not, it's not nearly as bad as people would think just from the first level. Let's say it's a generic shooter that does everything right, which kind of makes it not generic. <laughs> Brent on defense. When I was a kid, the simulation games of Peter Molyneux were some of my favorites. Adding that extra salt on the fries in the theme park to increase your drink sales was so devilish. Well, many of the team members behind those sim games went on to create Two Point Studios and Two Point Hospital. Well, today we're excited to share the first trailer for their next Two Point simulation. Two oh, Point this got leaked. Campus. That first sight of the school gates, the scent of a leather bound book, the faint clatter of knights jousting. Well, I can't say I remember that part, though it wasn't like this in my day. You see, campuses are forever changing. Nowadays, education has to be fun. It can't be all work and no play, and quite right, too. Frankly, the results... The school is done for. Academia has never been more appealing, more dynamic, more whatever this is. Today's campus is a place to live and a place to Oh, sorry, the mechanic. Uh, it, it's got like a progression system almost. Like minds quite that cool. money can buy. Almost like our so Sometimes elements. you still can't get the stuff. If we're talking about Prolo. Aubrey was super into two point yes, hospital. These days it or at least really she was going to be. Anything is possible. This fucking school won't last a day under my tutelage. Call me a teacher all you want. Ain't no one surviving. Two Point Campus. Class is in session 2022. Clown. Honk. Yeah, Two Point Hospital was a great sim. This year, I am thrilled to have Netflix as a part of Summer Game Fest. They have been doing an incredible job the adapting games weaker. with series like Castlevania and the Dota anime. Well, there is a lot more coming, and you don't have to wait long to find out more. Tomorrow, so I'm honored to be guest hosting oh, Netflix's Geeked Week live stream with Mari Takahashi and Rahul Kohli. Uh, you can expect the first clip of the Cuphead show, which, spoiler alert, this show is going to be an absolute sensation. I can't wait for you to see it. I'll also sit down with the team behind Arcane, the League of Legends animated show coming later this year. And we might also have updates on The Witcher and the live action Resident Evil series. I forgot Geek about Week Witcher. is streaming live tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. Here's a little sneak peek. Maybe they don't have Netflix. <laughs> what is Geek Week? Netflix Geek is hosting a free virtual event full of big news, oh, I guess. exciting first looks, and the people who make the shows and films you love on Netflix. Comics, games, movies, zombies, animation, sci-fi. That's right, Masters of the Universe got revealed earlier today. Army of the Dead, no black eye as a radiant ranger king. A Witcher and much more. The people you love from the shows you love live. Grab your devices, tuck in, and join Netflix Geek. Can't ever listen to like a place. Oh fuck! So much to get geeked about. <laughs> we aren't done with Netflix just yet, though. Coming up next is Smite, a cross-play, cross-platform game. Oh yeah, they do some pretty <laughs> amazing IP crossovers. Why is this happening? Last summer, we announced the Avatar: The Last Bender one. Uh, um, well, as Smite enters its ninth year, it's time to go upside down. <laughs> Why is this happening? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> they announced this yesterday. <laughs> Beat up Apollo and Ra's 11. They did make the dancing rabbit. Yeah, I, from what I saw, like, it actually looked Next pretty Next cool. up, we announce a lot of games on my shows, but I think this is the first time we are announcing an entirely new game label, new game publisher. Enjoy this first look at more than 12 games that make up its initial slate. Jesus. A new publisher? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Let's begin. this trailer holy fuck is that who you are my purpose makes me who i am Ooh. i finally have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile being relied on to succeed where others would fail <laughs> Gungrave 4, last 4, crew. I forgot about Gungrave. Some of those look interesting, but I don't know which ones. <laughs> There you have it, Prime Matter, Payday 3-2, and there is actually one more game added to the mix, and for that, we go to Todd Holland's head from Sabre. No, Todd, that was Payday. He just said it. <laughs> I'm great, Jeff. Thank you for the intro there. I'm really excited to have this little last edition, which is, is that Sabre and Prime Matter are working together on a new game in the Painkiller franchise. All right, very cool on that. Holy and fuck, there are more details on Pog. Prime Matter coming tomorrow with a stream at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, and I will be stopping by. Next up is a brand new IP from a brand new studio, Stray Bombay. It's coming this fall only to Xbox, PC, and Game Pass on day one. Ooh. It's called The Anacrusis, a four-player cooperative first-person shooter set aboard a massive starship stranded at the edge of explored space. You team up with your friends in an infinitely replayable Not fight too much. against alien hordes Two point to unlock perks, weapons, and new ways to play that, and that Netflix, you can share yes. with your team. Here is the world premiere trailer. Oh, and Stranger Things, Jesus Christ. Hello! <laughs> and Payday 3. Leo! I guess it was more than I so expected. Oh Jesus fuck. No Stick together and Left for dead but in space. Is this a disco? This I do not like. I can use some help! Pick your pulse! This is not good. Not good. What if we open the doors and run? Just run. Left for dead space no rising. Stopping, no shooting, just straight to the bridge. Get that a very goofy space aesthetic. The Anacrusis. Really? We call them tanks. 
I call them brutes. From Latin, brutus. We'd sound smart calling them brutes. Gion, you don't want to get in here and help name these? Nah, uh, I'm good. Brute! Oh, you're fucking dead, Scoob. <laughs> New zombies look sick. Awesome look. Thanks for that chat and the team at Stray Bombay. Uh, tomorrow, tune into Summer Game Fest for a special deep dive presentation on New World, a new open world MMO from Amazon Games set on the supernatural island of Eternum. It's finally coming out later this summer, and in the deep dive video, game director Scott Lane will take players into the mysterious supernatural island that is a world of wonder and horror. Spooky. Once you arrive, it's up to you to unite warring human factions to take on a con common enemy, the Tempest, who wants to unmake life. <laughs> Scott and the team will detail updates to the game, including new mid and end game content, more PVE and expeditions, five player challenges with unique mechanics, bosses, loot, and more. Why? Six of these expeditions will be at launch Why is five with the beta on July 20th and the public launch on August 31st. I will also five be down at the studio to chat with number. Scott about the game and the team's efforts over the past year in the midst of COVID. It is exciting for me to finally be able to get pick out three, there pick and four, visit pick game six. studios again. I miss all these developers. So check out the special deep dive stream on New World tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern at summergamefest.com. All right, well, wait for back the cancellation in 2018, Rocket League teamed up with Fast and Furious, bringing some of the saga's Family. iconic cars into the game. And now they are back with a twist that is truly Rocket League with Fast 9, the next installment of the Fast Saga arriving in U.S. theaters June 25th. Psyonix is bringing back the Nissan Skyline, Dodge Charger, and, well, maybe the most literal, supersonic, acrobatic, rocket-powered heist car ever conceived, the F9 Pontiac Fiero. <laughs> yeah, chili dogs. Oh my god. Me pongo furiosa. Can't fucking play this music with Rocket League. <laughs> can't fucking, can't fucking do it. <laughs> Come on, man. You can't Strap play the music of a Rocket League. A car and play soccer seems like the right idea to me. The Fast and Furious three car bundle arrives June 17th in Rocket League. Okay, next up, last year, a new Swedish company named Shark Mob released a teaser for their first unnamed multiplayer project in the Vampire the Masquerade universe. Oh. Tonight, we're putting a name on their first game with a brand new world premiere trailer. Vampire, but not Bloodlines. For centuries we have lived in secrecy among you. I am unaffiliated with this. Maintaining the masquerade. We have influenced your society. Fed on your blood. Thrived among you. Until now. Get fucked. Oh boy, character customization. Character creator, I'm in. <laughs> Not blood lines. Blood I can't hunt. wait to play this game, and we actually won't have to wait long. You can sign up now for the bloodhunt.com, is where you go, for the closed alpha PC test available on July 2nd. Blood Hunt will be released later this year.
Next, the latest horror game series from the creators of Until Dawn continues with the House of Ashes, part of the Dark Pictures anthology. This third game well. features American <laughs> and Iraqi soldiers stranded in a cursed temple. Here's the story trailer with the exclusive reveal of the monsters lurking in the depths. The depths. I don't have money. <laughs> An temple. ancient horror <laughs> has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many Not have personally. fallen I've into seen shadow? Of it, though. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. But I strongly suspect where chemical weapons are hidden, so we need to move fast. All the characters that were like alone main characters brave. did not look like soldiers. Or extremely foolish. We're gonna sigh out this shit. Brothers in arms, or will it be a case of each man for himself? Get down, get down! They're up on the ridge! Return fire! You teeter on the edge of an abyss. Oh, Your survival depends on the choices you so make. Good. They will be as a compass, guiding you through the unknown. Where on God's green earth have we landed? What nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? You keep lookout. Jesus fucking Christ. Look, look out for what? One by one, <laughs> their lights will be snuffed out. <laughs> Unless you can find the means to save them. Trapped beneath the earth. Swallow. Let's go. Like a boy. Good, don't mind me. Will you find the path to salvation? Or be lost in the darkness? Forever. <laughs> the comedic timing on that was brilliant. <laughs> Look out for what? <laughs> oh, big monster. Underworld creature. Big giant dragon monster bat. One of the longest, oh, most sexy. beloved JRPG franchises in the industry is the Tales of series. Well, the latest ah. game, Arise, was announced two years ago, and it brings the franchise into stunning 3D with Unreal Engine 4. Here's a world premiere look at the latest trailer with more information following in the coming weeks. Give it to me. Give me tails. Ooh. Edgy antagonist. Pretty fancy place they got here. Harmony and coexistence between the Renans and the Danans. I'm Dohilim Ilkaris. Should you need my skills on the battlefield, all I care Ooh. for is maintaining peace. Ooh. I'm Captain Kisara of the Elder Men and Sea Ha! Flare the Malata! From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. Well, this crew just gets bigger and bigger. The Renans. Seems the rumors you were running Holy the shit, what a true. party. Which one's gonna be the betrayer? Oh yeah, dual mystic arts. Looking for you. Bullock, get the hell out of my realm. This is Tannen's realm and it's ours, understand? Tales of Life. <laughs> is it over? It's only just begun. God, I'm so excited. I love me some fucking Tales games. God damn it. Looks sexy gonna need, basically. For Summer Game Fest, we have a special announcement for you. 
that the console version of Sky Children of the Light would arrive to Nintendo Switch on June 29th, and the Little Prince season would start soon after on July 6th. Enjoy the game. Okay. This is from the Journey Devs. Woo! On Switch. One of the things I take great pleasure in is using a platform like this show to introduce you to new developers and studios with games that deserve the spotlight. That's definitely the case with this next title from a small Swedish studio named Wishfully. Planet of Lana tells the story of a young girl and her loyal friend who embark on a mission through a colorful world that's designed to feel like a gouache watercolor painting come to life. Here's your first look at the Planet of Lana, coming to Xbox and PC in 2022. Another Lynn game made by Lynn. It, it takes two, but Swedish. Oh, what is that creature? Monkey. Ooh. I love this fucking creature. Damn, you got a high jump. Uh, yo, yo, behind you. Yo. Painted. I slurp. I consume. <gasps> Look at those creatures! Oh, I don't like that creature. I don't like that one either. Eventually, everything comes back to Homestuck. Cute limbo. Interesting. 2022, huh? You've piqued my interest, Planet of Lana. Sphere. Xbox and Steam. Ooh, that's it. Interesting. What oh, God, I knew it. Oh, fuck. Game. Honored to have that on our show. Well, joining me now is Aaron Keller, who's the game director of Overwatch 2. Aaron, uh, great to have you here on Kickoff Live. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having us here. Yeah, we are excited to learn more about what's planned for Overwatch 2. You guys recently, you had a, a PvP live stream that I watched, and you revealed some, uh, some changes coming to Overwatch 2. Uh, what can you tell us? What's the latest? Yeah, so we recently announced that Overwatch 2's format is changing to a 5v5 team format. This requires a fresh look at Why? all of our heroes in the game. It should feel fucking... new yet familiar to fans of our strategic team-based combat. Yeah, uh, it was great to see you guys playing, and uh, I you know, I did, long awaited <laughs> for people to get a chance to go hands-on with it. Um, and today, I know you brought us a look at uh, some skins for some of the uh, some of the characters, right? Yeah, the yeah. team is so passionate about updating the look and the yeah, feel it cuts of the a whole world bunch of, of people Overwatch. Off of the team's and one aspect of that I... is creating entirely new models for Overwatch Two for decision. all of our heroes. Wow. So today, we're going to be looking at two of those: uh, Baptiste and Sombra. All right, well, let's take a look here, and I know you're gonna tell us a little bit about what we're seeing, but uh, it's so cool to see these characters brought into Overwatch 2. So yeah, what do we got here? Streams yeah, so overpowering this is Baptiste. your voice a bit. Um, and that, there's a lot of I new been technology that go like into hype. our models. Uh, we hype, have new share hater tech, or <laughs> hair shader tech, excuse me, um, in order to, I know, to get I know, they the don't even have Jeff for the Overwatch team he anymore. He also has Boo. a glowing cape and gloves that kind of um, give that medic or surgeon vibe to him. Um, Thank you. And, uh, Hair shader Sombra, tech. Think, right? Yep, so next up is Sombra. This was a very challenging look for us to update. There's, it's an asymmetrical design. There's so many layers of hair and clothing and technology in You this. just changed her hair if to purple. She has toe shoes! Circuitry and nodes 
embedded in her clothing. She's a world-class hacker, so it all makes sense. <laughs> you just no, changed again, her hair you know, color. It's so great for fans to see these characters you know and love uh, from the first game, updated for Overwatch 2, and we can't wait to see. Look, uh, I put like maybe 300, 400 here, hours into Overwatch 1. On Overwatch 2. You bet, thank you. Awesome. I All right, thanks very much, Aaron. <sighs> Uh, now, recently, Hate I had a chance that to play done. Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance with the game developer Jeff Haddam, Hannibal Burris, and Ember Moon from the WWE. Ember Moon? That's right. I like Ember Moon. Let me to say that. But this game is a ton of fun, and it's coming to Game Pass on June 22nd. Take a look. She's actually one of my favorite wrestlers. Even yeah. though she's in WWE, she's and one of my favorite wrestlers. Part of Summer Game Fest, we are going hands -on wow, you are fucking... That is... This is terribly quiet. Of weeks, it is... Dark Alliance, and we've got Jeff, one of the game developers from 2K, Jeff. Special guests, Hannibal Burris and Ember Moon. Okay, okay. What uh, is this? That looks like a trap. Oh, that spice. looks like a trap. <laughs> oh, 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 you fool! Traps. Oh. Ice traps! Oh, shit. Oh, no, you get oh, no. <laughs> A warrior's death, I died I'm again. I'm coming to get you. Hey, hey, oh. hey. Watch it. Oh! <laughs> You were oh, no. deceived. Oh no, I can't believe I'm down. This Hannibal I'm is a terrible people. fucking. The down? The dev what? is down. So Ember, I know you really wanted to be Driss, right? Absolutely. I've read all the books, especially the Driss backstory, and I just connected with it on such an intimate level to the point where my wrestling character that everyone sees on TV is actually based on this character. <laughs> the red eyes, even though Driss has purple, I just love everything about him that he's just constantly the good guy the entire time. Oh, oh Orpheus oh, Morpheus oh. himself. He's a butcher. He's big chef. Ah, uh, that Ew. doesn't look healthy at all. Oh, why did I just all run right, up on him like that? Well, Let me see I'm what you now. got. You so ain't got what? nothing on us, baby. I'm here now. Oh, 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 There's so oh, much oh, gaming oh, going on right now. We got him. Come on. He's gone. Come on. He's gone. Come on. Come on. We don't want any dessert. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I'm going some weird dreams tonight because of that. Oh, he flipped us off. <laughs> Act complete. That was great. Yeah. Get it. All right, it looks interesting. Oh boy, Paladins. And Genlock? Really? What the fuck? Much less paladins. <laughs> All right, Summer Game Fest kickoff live presented by Prime Gaming continues. Yesterday was an amazing tease of the next Battlefield from EA. And if you want to dust up on the history of the franchise, God, I'm actually excited for the new Battlefield. Day game, if I'm being completely uh, honest, Battlefield 4. It's this month. Prime Gaming members get to download it and play it for free through June 20th. Now, there's no catch. This is the full blown PC version of the 2013 game. And those only in Battlefield moments still hold up. Just head to gaming.amazon.com to redeem your free copy right now if you are an Amazon Prime Can't member. Valid. And this Sunday, watch the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase for the first gameplay footage of Battlefield 2042. It's going to be really cool. Um, all right, right now, let's take a look at another world premiere. Battlefield is just Call Monster of Duty, Hunter the goofiest Stories fuck. Stories is coming to the Switch in July, and we've got your first look at the story trailer. For what? I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, Jeff. Oh! <laughs> Monster Hunter Stories! Uh, wings of Ruin! You don't understand! That Rathalos is... Monster Hunter Stories is so good! I'm so excited! Trying to avoid story trailers for this game, big oof. Yeah, I was I was thinking they were gonna show this at Capcom because they said they were gonna show stories and we can't let you rise there. With our plans. That's the monster red song. Monster Hunter, good. Yeah, it's huge on Nintendo. You suppose he saw this coming? 
We won't let you awaken it. I don't like you saying that to me. Good. <laughs> nice. That's you see what people do, yeah, be bored. Monster Hunter, sexy. July 9th, fuck. So soon. What the fuck did I just watch? That was so amazing. Uh, thank you, Rivers and guys, for that. Both the song and the game released tomorrow on PC, Nintendo, Switch. Tomorrow? streaming platforms, Twitch soundtrack, and a limited edition 7-inch vinyl on I Am 8-Bit. All right, well, right now, let's turn to a game that we announced last year at the Game Awards, Endless Dungeon from Amplitude. We showed a brief glimpse of gameplay in December, and fans wanted more. I want to be completely honest. Well, I don't actually remember this at all. at Endless Dungeon. Ah, We're Sega. Stuck in this wreck until oh, wait. Learns the rules. Yep. I do remember this. Rule number one. Certain weapons work better on certain monsters. Learn it or die. Oh. Option B, then. Rule number two. Use turrets to protect that unstable dust bomb we call the crystal. Because it's their catnip. And if it goes, you go. Get yep. fucked. Just like that. Rule number three. Watch your squat. Even if you've got the guns, the turrets, and the crystal, you can't do everything by yourself. If you fight alone, you die alone. Uh, together again. And rule number four? Well, Thick thigh bot. if you've got all that going, but you still can't win, you gotta change the squad. Tag team. I'm in. Thick thigh bot and Samus Aran knockoff. What are you guys doing tonight? If you're lucky enough to have a PS5, you're probably getting ready to play Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I've been playing it and having a ton of fun. Well, later today, the team at Insomniac is going to be doing a special launch stream on Twitch. And to tell us more, take it away, Marcus and Mike. Hey, I thought Jeff, it was and Mike and I. Watching Sorry, Summer that was Games a lame Fest joke. That was the lamest fucking joke. Marcus Smith here, creative director at Insomniac Games for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. We're excited that players finally get a chance to play the game tomorrow and to celebrate. We want to spend some more time with you today at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern to live stream the first hour of Rift Apart. Isn't that right, Mike? That's right. I'm Mike Daly, the game director. Rift Apart was the best reviewing game of the year. That's what In I hear. In addition to playing through the opening of the game, we'll also be taking your questions live and talking about what it was like to develop the game behind the scenes. So please join us at twitch.tv slash insomniac games at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. I hear Eastern. it was uh, very well received. And I mean, the game looks fucking gorgeous. Now bring back we'll Jack and Daxter. It's not happening. Insomniac doesn't even do Jack and Daxter. All right, we're now about to be joined by the one and only John Carlo Esposito to talk Far Cry 6. Uh, John I'm a Carlo, sucker for Far for Cry us. games, so, so I'm like actually interested in this. Role. They came to me with this phenomenal idea uh, and had proposed that I play <laughs> Anton Castillo, Whoops. the leader of Yara, with this big vision and dream for his I country. thought that was a picture. That and scared it, the it shit really out of me. I thought that was just a still picture. He was a guy who first came from a love of his family and a love of his community and country. Is Mr. Dong uploading so the VOD? In, the VOD will be up, yeah, but I'll have to edit it for YouTube. Today. And what has happened in the past, I thought, what a great opportunity. I'll try and get it edited the today. It is, it's just a different technology that's so brand new. And it excites me as a filmmaker that I want to be a part of it. All right, well, you've played some absolutely amazing villains in your career. What was it like being a video game villain? No, I'm not a villain. 
I have it's my favorite not political video game you. franchise. I'll Woo! let you finish. <laughs> but this guy loves his country. He wants to empower you, Keely. He wants to empower <laughs> you to stand up and speak your truth. Now you can go back. I to love Far. Ever since Far Cry 3, I've well, just been Well, you are smiling on the box. You're a good guy, right? <laughs> I am because Not I, political I feel out of 10. like we as human beings fall in line. And I, I, I want to be a renegade within reason. How do you like that? Because I think part and parcel of us falling in line and doing what we need to do and thinking about the cumulative effect of our doing what's right and the example of that is also to stand up and say, no, I do agree that they're good and bad about all people, but this guy, out of his love and passion for his people, even if they're faceless to him at certain points in time, allow him to be an absolute hero. Uh, speaking of your character, who did you base him You're on spitting to study like to create this character? Akira Kanoe stuff here, so buddy. It's so interesting because, of course, <laughs> the, the obvious choice to study is Fidel Castro, and it is Cuba, an island that had so many resources, but really the dream of the ability of the dictator to cultivate those resources, something got in the way there. And hopefully that can change in the years to come. It's funny you asked me that question because I was just talking to one Kino of my daughters about Six. Francesco. Tony Stank himself. And, and uh, also Hitler, uh, because we were talking about zodiac signs and what signs were certain people. What is that mindset that has you wanting to be have power over others. Uh, and for each dictator, it's different. She'd never heard of Ceausescu and studied political science and all this in college. Where's my money go? So anyway, so... <laughs> all right, well, one last question for you. Uh, who would win in a square off between Gus Fring, Moff Gideon, and Anton? But you, you didn't know, expect to hear Gideon, oh, Gideon, two. Hitler, so and Far Cry 6. So you asked me this question. Um, uh, and, and, you know, immediately... I say Moff Gideon immediately. You know, somehow I, I think Gus is colder and displays that coldness in a very particular way. Zodiac, uh, Hitler, and Gideon. You know, I yeah. think Anton could be the most violent man on earth, uh, but given his situation, he may not be rise to that occasion or may not have the time. Moff Gideon is otherworldly. This guy thinks in a different way, and he knows what you're thinking before you say it. And he, he does all I should all probably watch Mandalorian. Work, and he has an incredible tool to help him out. So I'm going to say Moff Gideon. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, uh, John Carlo, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We will check out the revolution in Far Cry 6. And I can't wait for it to begin. Let the games begin! <laughs> awesome. All right, thank you so much, John what Carlo. Is if you haven't picked up on it yet, Prime Gaming unlocks a ton of in-game benefits for Amazon Prime members, like an exclusive Valkyrie skin in Apex Legends, $200,000 in GTA cash every week you play GTA Online, and in Fall Guys, you get a special Burning Circuits costume for your bean through June 21st. For now, your bean! Of Fall Guys, the time has come to reveal a brand new costume bean. coming to the game based on a legendary game franchise. Check it out. Are you? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's two bean. It's two bean. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. It's two bean. Dan fucking invoked it. Oh, here comes Genshin. I can't believe Dan fucking invoked two bean. <laughs> Fall Guys is canon to FM14. Oh my god, the degrees of separation have shrunk dramatically. The light in their vision will fade away. Organizing the clash is my way of uncovering hidden talents, and hopefully this time, getting a vision to glow again. Your opponent is new to the clash, but he has quickly uh, become the dark horse of the tournament. 1.7, I bet. The sounds of nature turn into a clamor of noise during stormy weather. The winds are coming. Clouds high. The birds come! 
I'm still reeling from 2B. So today we've announced games, a publisher, Prime Matter, so why not announce a developer too? And joining me now are Dave Anthony and Jason Blundell from the newly formed Deviation Games. Uh, we know you guys well from all your amazing work over the years at Treyarch and Call of Duty Black Ops, but uh, what can Had we expect from know your new studio, guys? Well, th thanks, Jeff. Get your and, uh, dropped. Look, Jason and I, <laughs> we've been mates for donkey's years. And, well, like an old married couple, Jeff, and uh, we've been working together for decades. And we've worked on some huge franchises. You know the games, you know, they've done well. And, uh, but we thought, you know, when you're working on those franchises, the long established IPs, you got a fucking you're accent, very, don't very you? tight constraints creatively about what you can do. So we thought after all these years, you know, what if we deviated? Yes. So that's deviation <laughs> games. Okay. So Jeff, just trust me, all bets are off. All From right. day one, we got complete financial security to work with creative freedom and time, not just to make a brand new IP, which yeah. is what we're doing. Oh, ho, ho. A groundbreaking new IP with innovation at its very core. And the team at Deviation Games, the culture we have is really, really simple. It's, there's no place for ego. It's the best idea that always wins, and that's Deviation Games. All right, well, uh, big ideas from you guys as we would expect. Now, I know it's very early and uh, there is nothing to show on the game today, but can you tell us a bit about what kind of game you're making? What can we expect? Yeah, I mean, you're very right there, Jeff. Very early, but a um, lot of exciting stuff going on. So essentially, we spent the last year building the team, right? And so what we knew was we wanted to collect passionate, creative, collaborative people and bring them together. I need kind of under game. One Show me game. Is. So uh, yeah, we don't have anything to show right now. OK, that, well, that then why? No, that imagination <laughs> is, is going on, and we're going to have something that's going to uh, I think leave an indelible mark in the industry when we come out. All right, well, uh, with you guys involved, as I said, we're excited about it. There is one more piece of the puzzle, though, that you want to reveal uh, today, and for that, let's take a look at this. Now we are no longer gaming. Holy fuck, that's a lot of people. Did they get bought out by PlayStation? Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, big news, the stage has changed. Uh, <laughs> blue of PlayStation, so you're partnering with, uh, with PlayStation. What can you tell us about that partnership? Okay, That's right, partnering. Jeff. And the partnership with PlayStation, it's all about quality. From soup to nuts, this project is all about quality. And our team of deviators that we have back uh, in the studio, we're doing this for you. We are so proud of you. And um, the partnership with Sony, it's, it's very, very simple. I mean, Soup God, just nuts. look at the track record of consistency of high quality games that they do. It's hit after hit. It's award after award. And now we've been part of this process and we see how they do things. Yeah. It's really clear how they're managing to accomplish that. So we couldn't be more proud to expand PlayStation's portfolio. Expand which PlayStation in a very, Dawn. Very significant way. I mean, let's just face it, right? Sony rocks, and they, they get our kind of brand of crazy, so we're That's very right. happy with this partnership. All right, so Deviation Games, PlayStation, brand new IP, a mega IP, it sounds like, coming in the future. And, Dog uh, Station we'll 5. See you guys again in the future to, to see more on what you're working on. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Awesome. All right, uh, Dave, Jason, thank you very much, guys. All right, well, this year is the 30th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog, and later this month, we are honored to be premiering the full Sonic Symphony performance. But right now, here's the Philharmonic Orchestra in Prague performing the music of Sonic Unleashed. Yeah, surely not. Why Unleashed? <laughs> For what purpose? Why did you pick Unleashed? Everyone's favorite Sonic game. Double furry. My favorite, um, my favorite picture in recent memory is the Resident Evil Village cover art, but with the werehog. Yes, that is true. That is definitely true. I would wager to say that Chronicles, uh, the best part of Chronicles was the uh, soundtrack. <laughs> Yeah. 
They announced a developer that partners with PlayStation. Hope Vor. Sonic Collects Ring. I don't believe it. June 23rd for the full performance. Oh my god. Elden Ring. Elden Ring is a Sonic game! Love orchestra music. All right, Sunday, Warner Brothers Games and Turtle Rock will be giving players a new look at the zombie multiplayer fun of Back for Blood. And right now, we've got a Left for dead. tease of a new boss and news on the beta coming later this summer. Who's that scientist? I don't remember them. Oh, I thought the stream cut out. Oh my God. Oh my heart. That's that's what scared me. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. Yeah, I used to I used to fucking love Left 4 Dead. I played it so much. One of the things I'm most passionate about is getting you guys access to play more games at home. Last year, Steam and Xbox did incredible demo events around Summer Game Fest, and this year, Steam's Next Fest starts next Wednesday, and Xbox is back again to do an ID at Xbox demo event, which I'm announcing right now. It starts on Tuesday and it's completely free, no badges required. One of the games I'm most excited about in the lineup is Tunic from my fellow Canadian, Andrew Shouldice. Here he is to give you a little sneak preview of the brand new demo, which you can exclusively play on Xbox starting on Tuesday. A brand Hi, new my demo. My name's Andrew Shouldice, and I'm working on Tunic. That dude looks like Brian David Shouldice. about a tiny fox in the big world where you explore the Oh, I remember this game! And find secrets. I first started working on it uh, about six years ago. Uh, it's been changing a lot over the years, but uh, I'm, I'm really excited about where we've gotten it to today. So in Tunic, you, you start the game and you are a little fox that's washed up on a beach and you don't have a whole lot of context except for, you know, uh, uh, a lust for adventure and you are going to wander off and maybe a you're going to find a stick and maybe if you venture a little bit further, maybe you're going to find a sword. And it's really about that sense of discovery about wondering what's around the next corner. People have played the game at shows before, but we wanted to put together a a brand new demo that was you know for the home audience and so it's full of never before seen stuff a brand new dungeon yeah it's very links awakening like but with furries so excited about tunic and sable also uh is going to be one of the games in that along with a lot of other awesome titles oh my god Zor, your wife week. is going to be at id at xbox. xbox uh next up stave off ragnarok in this ancient norse inspired co-op action survival rpg that you can also fully play solo Cl classic hack and slash gameplay goes viking in norse fells tribes of midgard launching on playstation and pc july 27th here is the brand new trailer brand new I heard a little bit about this game. The giants have come to Midgard, and you have been chosen by the gods to protect this realm. But your first task is to find some new clothes that aren't desert. Drafty. Your tribe's journey starts in the wilderness. Hunt down pets, gather rare resources, and explore the untamed world. Prompts and tunic were in a made-up language. Once yeah, really. All you can carry. Return to your village and use those resources to forge Viking-worthy gear. That'd be an interesting little concept. Is it just Valheim, but top-down? Crab! So take heed. The hell things rise when the sun sets. Destroy these dark spirits before they destroy the seed. Each victorious night makes way for a new day. To venture into new lands, build to greater heights, and face fiercer creatures. And with great risk comes great rewards. But be careful. 
You're of little use to Midgard, squashed by a troll. Craft I mean, I guess. Weapons, build deadly defenses, and grow the strength of your tribe, because those giants are on their way. Big. And it's time for us to end their path of destruction. Let's show them our might is greater than their height. <laughs> As the saying goes, Valhalla can wait. Our might is greater than their height. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> Who's ready for some evil dead? We announced this game last Oh my god, I forgot NBA, about this. Holy now fuck. It's time for an extended look at the gameplay. To tell us more, let's turn it over to my friend Tim Willits from Saber. Hi Jeff, it's great to see you. Today, we have some extended footage of The Evil Dead the game. We are That's a big fucking Iron Man. It's behind my webcam, but like Jesus Bruce Christ. Campbell. Thank you. Show me the evil dead. I was nice alive. <laughs> Hola, cyber friends. I'm Bruce Campbell. You know me as Ash Williams, the dude who saved the world from evil. I'm here to bring you the lowdown on the upcoming Evil Dead, the game. Jesus Christ. You and your friends will team up as classic Evil Dead heroes to live the nightmare. You'll use savage finishing moves or tear evil a new one. Or if you're not into the whole oh save the world thing, we have another option. You can play as the vile Kandarian demon itself. But who would want to do that? He'd be a dick. <sighs> With the power of possession in your arsenal, you'll scare those goody two shoes to death. Literally, you can do that if you're a dick. If you're a dick. Whether you choose the I'm a path dick. of evil or righteousness, you'll be throwing down in places you've seen before. You'll collect pages of the Necronomicon, uncover Nobi's lost tapes, and track down other legendary artifacts. It looks like it's dead by daylight, but you can actually enough, fucking fight you'll back. You'll use a spell to send the Kandarian son of a bitch back to the hellhole it came from. Demon dicks! Soon you'll experience the horror yourself, ah. but for now I'll Seems leave you with this Steam notifications thought. are up. It was no accident that Ash always wore brown pants. <laughs> God, these finishers look so doofy. I love it. You fucking missed half of your mag. Holy shit. I dig it. Remnant Evil Dead Edition, basically. mean switch oh shit this year i'm down with that okay, game guys now it's time for the grand finale to the show this is extremely special today i am so deeply honored to be given the opportunity to share this next game it comes from one of our industry's most acclaimed developers and a previous game of the year winner at the game awards i want to personally thank this developer for believing in my vision of Summer Game Fest as a new way to bring all of us together I'm ready for, for a cross-industry showcase and kick off the summer in the right way. So, without further ado, please sit back and enjoy this truly spectacular world premiere. It is finally time.
Okay. <laughs> I was like, here it comes. I don't believe it. The tarnished will soon return. Holy shit. Guided by grace, once lost. The Golden Order is broken to its core. I love this aesthetic. Ooh. Oh. Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Someone must extinguish thy flame. Jesus Christ. They will fight. What the fuck? And they will die. In an unending. Dragon. Four wings. Wow is a champion or a lord to be born. Oh, Jesus. Well, a lowly tarnished playing as a lord. I command thee. Oh, damn, F. Holy fuck, the world looks gorgeous. Magic. Patronus? Oh, I hated that. Brandish the Elden Ring. Holy oh, shit. All right. All right, all right. You've you've piqued my interest pretty well. January, we have a release date. What? <laughs> it actually happened. Elden Ring is coming, as you saw, January twenty first, twenty twenty two, to next gen, current gen. It's so incredible, and I want to thank so much Miyazaki San and the team at From for sharing that. In wow. Game look at Elden Ring. I hope you guys are happy. Oh my God, I'm free. Out of prison, all right. Out of prison, uh, out of gamer good. prison. Summer Game Fest kickoff live. Thank you so much to all the developers who took part. And for you and watching around the world, it means so much to me. Summer Game Fest continues all weekend with Netflix Geeked Week. Holy Mind shit. Matter tomorrow, Ubisoft Forward on Saturday, and Xbox and Bethesda on Sunday. I feel like it'll Square get Enix delayed. Well. I, I feel like that too. Fest. It's Elden Ring. It can't oh, ever come out, schedule. right? This is really just the kickoff to summer and a ton of other amazing events that I'm fully supportive of, and I'm very excited to see what they have in store for us as well. As for me, I'll see you again on August 25th for Gamescom Opening Night Live. And this December, I am so happy to say that the Game Awards will return as an in-person ceremony at the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles. More details are coming later this summer. Woo! Thanks again for being a part of Summer Game Fest. It's only been two years we'll since it's revealed. It's not vaporware. And stay tuned for the Day of the Devs with I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine right now. Good night, everybody. Holy fuck. That's the Summer Game Fest kickoff live. Whoo, my God. We did it. We fucking made it through, everyone. Oh, my God. What a fucking show. Huh. I, that that was a good way to kick off uh that that was a good pre e three showcase a pre three showcase we had fucking tiny Tina's Wonderlands we had Metal Gear Tactics which is huge for me um we had fucking Elden Ring finally uh, a good look at Evil Dead there was a lot of good stuff there 
Holy fuck. Um, good way to kick off E3. It's just enough hype to get me like, yes, I'm fucking excited for everything that just happened. But I'm also like, ooh, I want a little bit more. We still got all weekend, baby. We still got all weekend.